Thanks, Hello, you guys. How are you doing? My name is Cesar Salgado, and uh, what I want to show you guys today is a a video on alphabiotics. This is something that I found out maybe perhaps a, a year ago, and um, this is a really good treat. I'm happy to say that at first I was uh, um, kind of skeptical of showing just like a, a simple video, but I was really happy and grateful to find Dr. Kevin Boltz and he's from here in San Diego about uh, five minutes from the cam uh, the campus, the Alliance San Diego campus. I will uh, provide additional information on that if you guys want to meet up with them. But um, I'm happy to be able to bring this. I'm going to be able to show uh, the procedure. I do want to say this is a a procedure that only uh, that not anyone can do. This is a, a uh, hands-on procedure that is, uh, has very specific movements and I'm very happy that he can explain it, elaborate and give a little bit more feedback on, uh, on what the uh, alphabetic process is all about. Um, we will ask him some questions, we'll be able to see his uh, the materials and, uh, um, and thank you so much. Hope you guys are interested and please, um, I want to say that I'm very happy to be able to bring this uh, through research. I'm very happy to, to have, uh, be able to bring to you guys what I have found. So I'm here with Dr. Kevin Boltz, and um, I'm going to ask some uh, questions to get a little bit more information about the alphabetic uh, procedure. Um, Dr. Boltz, uh, could you give an introduction of yourself, uh, background, and uh, educational information? Sure. My name is Dr. Kevin Boltz. I'm originally from Sydney, Ohio. I went to Ohio State University. I actually, before that, I spent five years in the Air Force as a medic learning about medical procedure. And at that time, I had planned on going to medical school, but then I realized after working every day in the medical community, it wasn't really what I was looking for. It wasn't uh, the type of philosophy and the belief system in regards to health care that, that I had that I wanted to be a part of for the rest of my life. And so when I left the military, I actually started out in physical therapy, and then I found chiropractic, and I decided to go through four years of pre-med and exercise physiology. So I actually majored in pre-med and exercise physiology. Graduated from Ohio State in 1985, started chiropractic school in January 1986, graduated in June 1989, went to Columbus, Ohio again to practice. I spent five years there. Upon my fourth year of being in practice is when I found the alphabiotic process. That's what I actually do now. And at the time I discovered alphabiotics, it really answered a lot of my questions because I found that a lot of the techniques that I learned in chiropractic school, excuse me, there's noise outside here, a lot of the techniques I learned in chiropractic school didn't seem to have the same effect that we were told it would have. And I became very disenchanted and very frustrated with the basic techniques of most chiropractic work. And so when I found alphabiotics, it answered a lot of my questions because it truly revolves around getting a person into balance, not just trying to fix their spine, so to speak. We're not just racking, cracking spines. We're actually getting a person to balance and actually creating a decompressive movement for the spine, which to me makes a lot more sense than just trying to twist and turn the kinks out of the chain. And so since 1994, this is what I have been doing. And so I guess that amounts to 18 years I've been doing alphabiotics. And I, after a year of doing it in Columbus, Ohio, I sold my practice and traveled around the world for 18 months working on people everywhere I went throughout the world. I spent time in 23 countries and then I did the nine western states and that's how I found San Diego and that's when I decided to move out here. But I had my table with me everywhere I went. I wanted to work on people all over the world to see what kind of response I got to this work. And that was just an amazing experience because people didn't come to me with back pain. They came to me because they had very catastrophic illnesses and diseases and afflictions. And I saw results literally with everything, everybody that came to me. And so that's, that told me a lot about the, the power behind this work and the potential that it could create. And so that's when I decided to come to San Diego and to start an alphabiotic practice. Not a chiropractic center, but an alphabiotic practice. And I've been doing that ever since sort of 16 years now here in San Diego. Right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Boltz, can you describe alphabiotics to an audience that has never heard of this procedure before? Sure. Alphabiotics is not... I'll tell you what it's not. It's not chiropractic. It's not a therapy. It's not a, a way to massage leaky joints and muscles. It's actually a system that's designed to help you get it back into, re, into balance. 
Most people are out of balance, and it starts usually, if not during the birth process, right after the birth process. So sometime between birth and the first two years of life, you tend to lateralize to a dominant brain hemisphere. So we get into your left brain and right brain. And if you want to go ahead and focus your okay. camera on this. Okay. When we get into a right brain or left brain dominant posture, that's how everybody comes in here. They're usually one of two postures. Mm -hmm. And it's called right brain or left brain dominance. Okay, as a chiropractor, I would see this on x-ray. I would see the high hip and the high shoulder, the beginning of scoliosis, if not complete scoliosis in the spine. Usually you see what's called subluxations where a vertebra has shifted out of position. You see all that on x-ray. Everything that you see here, I see on x-ray. And I always have figured that, well, I've got to work on bringing that shoulder down, bringing that hip down, bringing that hip up, bringing that shoulder up, adjust up here in the neck, adjust here in the dorsal spine, and probably do some low back work at the same time. And so I would work on the problems that were presented upon x-ray and exam findings. Well, as an alpha biotocyst, what I have found is that everything that's going on down here is basically a reflection of what's going on up here between the ears. We get out of balance in our alignment up here, we subsequently show that in our body's misalignment. Mm -hmm. And almost every one of you that's seen this will probably identify this because if you ever looked at yourself in a mirror, you'll probably see one shoulder higher than the other. You'll probably see if you ever walk behind somebody in a shopping mall, you'll see how one hip is usually higher than the other. Mm -hmm. And almost everybody has what's called the short leg syndrome. The short leg syndrome is a direct result of being pulled up on your dominant side and being pulled back down in your weaker, less tense side, like what you see here. So whatever's happening up here, this is the input, creates what's happening down here with the output. And so what I do is I correct what's going on from here up first to change everything from here down. And so that's what you see when you get aligned is that we do muscle tests and we show you which side your strong side, we show you which side your weak side, we show you which leg's long, which side short. We correct that. So what we're accomplishing, what we're looking at here is to see how in or out of alignment this person is in. And if we put her feet together and put her ankles together and put my thumbs right on the base of each ankle, we'll see that she is actually about a half inch difference in her leg lengths with the short leg being on the left side. Now with alpha bias, we would recognize that to be a right brain dominant concept. Mm -hmm. Or it's her right brain is creating a shorter contracted left side of her body. Her left brain, which is weaker, is creating a length and weak on the right side. Because she's been aligned many times before, I'm not going to do a muscle test on her. We do that the first time that somebody comes in to show them how in or out of alignment they're in based upon which side's strong, which side's weak, and what that's creating in their body, how that's creating symptomatology. Mm -hmm. So we'll just go ahead and do an alignment now. This isn't going to be a complete office visit like what a person would normally receive once they can start coming and seeing it. We're just going to do a light alignment so you, you can see pretty much what it looks like in a very soft light alignment perspective. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, just relax your head. Actually got popped. <laughs> There we go. What that's doing is it's sending a massive sensory input into the brain. The brain is actually synchronizing into a much more appropriate alpha state. That's where the word alpha biotics mm -hmm. comes from. Alpha is the state of mind where your brain should be at all the time, but most people operate in a more hyper beta model, which is basically sheer survival mode. Most people are just surviving day to day. They're not really functioning adequately enough to, get, to be beyond survival mode. And so the alpha bike alignment does change the way the brain hemispheres operate. It actually lowers the frequency to a more appropriate alpha state immediately. That's what that alignment does. At the same time it does that, we're actually opening and decompressing the spine a little bit. The spine needs to be opened up and decompressed when it's got kinks and curves in it. It just makes sense. If you mm -hmm. have kinks in the chain, what's the best way to get those kinks out? Twisting and turning them? No. Let's open the chain. Let's decompress. And so when I do go a little bit deeper on individuals, they usually feel their whole spine decompress and open up. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt the person to do that. If it did, I wouldn't be operating, would I? Okay, for 16 years I've been standing up doing this. If it hurt people, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be in business. And so basically it does help those individuals that come and receive this. 
by getting their brain into balance, but also opening the spine, decompressing the joints, getting everything in balance. Now let's look at the leg lengths to see how they changed right afterwards. So we put her feet together, and immediately you can see that her ankles meet head on. And in her case, her bunions meet head on. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. okay. But I put my thumbs on the ankles, and they do meet head on. Ankles are meant to be kissing cousins. If they're missing each other because you have a short leg syndrome, that's going to sooner or later wear out the joint structures of the body, especially starting with the ankles, the knees, and the hips. Dr. Boltz, um, so can you talk a little bit about uh, pros and cons with alphabetic treatment? Sure. As with anything, there's the potential for side effects. We're doing work. Let's face it, we're doing work on people. Sometimes people get maybe a little bit headachey afterwards and maybe a little neck stiffness, neck soreness. It's just like anything that you're doing for the first time, you may have a side effect that associates with that. If you went to the gym and started a new workout program, how would your body feel those first couple of weeks? Most likely, you're going to be a little sore. Anybody that starts a new workout regimen, a new program in a gym or any kind of exercise setting, they're going to be sore a little bit. Occasionally, when people first start coming to see me, they become a little sore. Their bodies are changing. Their bodies going from a more very inappropriate, unbalanced state to a very appropriate, much more aligned and balanced state. When that happens, the muscles that are on the tight side have to open up a little bit and the muscles on the weak side have to contract a little bit in order to get into balance. When you have a high hip and a high shoulder, you're always going to have to see change occur in order for that to balance. When change occurs, sometimes there's a little bit of pain associated with it. Can't worry about that. That's a little bit of the cons. I've never actually seen anybody injured from this. I've done probably well over 200,000 alignments at this point in my life. Never seen anybody injured from it. I've seen people get a little achy, but I've never seen anything catastrophic. Never seen strokes, knock on wood, never seen anybody have any kind of you know, disability as a result of it. Actually, I help people with strokes. I work on people that have had lots of nervous system disorders, and it does help them. Everything that we do is revolving around balancing, and in order to do that, it has to start with the nervous system first. It's not a musculoskeletal phenomenon at all. It's an energy phenomenon. When the nervous system's out of alignment, out of balance, then energetically you're not going to be at your fullest potential. It's impossible to be. And so that's what we're trying to accomplish. The pros to that are the fact that it works. It works a lot faster than just working with the musculoskeletal system. If that's all you're worried about is changing the musculoskeletal dynamics, you're really missing out about 90% of what's going on. And because of that, you're never really getting to the problem. You're not getting to the reason why this person has back problems. You're not getting to the reason why this person has headaches. You're not getting to the reason why this person's shoulders are weak or their knees are breaking down, their hips are degenerating. You're not getting to the reasons. you got to get to the reasons, which is the imbalance that's creating it. That's why when we do this, we're getting to that other 90% of the reasons why this person's messed up. And that's what I do, okay, in a nutshell. As far as who, for anybody, anybody that needs a better way of functioning, a better way of thinking, a better way of living, they're going to benefit from alpha biotics. I work on little children, babies, fresh out of the womb, because like I said before, if the problems don't begin during the birth process, which is about 70% of the time, then they begin shortly after the birth process. So sometime between the years of birth and two years of age, you're going to have problems developing. Almost every child I check by the age of three or four is already as much as a half inch difference in their leg lengths. That means they're growing up crooked. Okay, if they're a half inch difference, that means they're growing up crooked. So what we do is get the system back in alignment as a child. They grew up straight. Their both hemispheres are working well. They're not going to have to study either math or science courses or art artistic creative courses. In order to get through school, they can do both because their hemispheres are working simultaneously at a peak state and they're functioning better. Most kids become better athletes when they're aligned regularly. Okay? It's just a given that's going to happen. And so anybody in between, you know, we, we start with birth and we, I've got little 90 year olds that come in here because they're aching, they're hurting, they want help. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what age a person is. The general rule, you know, the general age group is between 18 and 56, 58 maybe. Mm -hmm. But I see a lot of geriatric customers and a lot of young children, so it doesn't really matter. Right. So in general, anybody can benefit from alpha biotics. There's no reason why anybody can't, can't receive alignments. I, in fact, after all these years, I still have not seen anybody yet 
That's coming and that couldn't help. And I've seen the worst case scenarios. The person that was on the table earlier that you videoed mm -hmm. has a tremendous back problem. And mm -hmm. this is the only thing that's ever helped her. So, you know, just know that everything and anything can be helped with it. All right. Okay, any other questions? Anything else, Dr. Bosa, that you'd like to share about um, uh, the process? Anything that you feel that you would uh, need to mention to the, to the audience? Well, I think that if, if you really want to work and function better and learn better, more effectively, and to get the peak state of function from your body, from your nervous system, I, I don't think it could hurt you. I think even if you're not necessarily in pain, that it would still benefit you. Now I can pretty much promise that at least 90% of the people watching this video right now are in discomfort of some kind. It doesn't matter what age you are, you're always going to have discomfort. And I always tell everybody that there's only two types of people in the world. Those are the with symptoms and those are going to be having symptoms. And if you're one of the ones that are having symptoms, don't wait because that's a sign and symptom that your body's not working well. All it is an alarm clock going on. That's all it is. It's like if you have a fire going on in your house, there's a fire alarm going off at the fire station saying, hey, come down and put out the fire. Now, you can take a drug to take away the pain, or you know they can turn off the alarm, which is you know for the fire, or they need to come down and put out the fire. Well, that's what we're doing. Is instead of just putting away the pain or turning off the pain with a drug or with some kind of therapy, we're actually working on getting rid of the pain by getting rid of the problem that's creating it. Big difference there. We don't just treat the symptom. We're not worried about the symptom. We're worried about the reason why the symptom's there. Let's take care of the symptom by taking care of the problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't focus on symptoms. I work on getting the body in a reorganized mode, rebooting the computer, getting it to work right. Once that does, life is good. Okay? Yeah. So if you have any other much. questions, please feel free to contact me. Okay? Thank you.